Hi, this is Mr. Out of Mac, and today I'm going to show you how to convert a video file to um, your iTunes. Um, converting a like a .abi or a .wmv, just a Windows-based media file to a Mac-based um, program like iTunes, and then furthermore to your iPod, to the, the format that it needs to be in your iPod. So um, I'm going to put a link in the description for this program called iSquint. You just open that sucker up, and it opens up, and it looks like this. Um, now the settings are all right here. Um, like Again, if you want it for your iPod, you're just going to have that checked, and if you just want it like for watching on your computer or on like Apple TV or something, you'll do the optimize for TV. And then I always do the quality at Go Nuts. It just gives you the best quality, and then I always check Add to iTunes. So now you're going to uh, locate your .avi file, or .wmv. Here I have um, Michael Jackson's This Is It, and it's a .avi. And you can watch these like on VLC, which is a program, free program you can download that will watch it. But if you want to put it in your iTunes, this is the best way to do it in the quickest way. So you just drag it over like that and then you just hit start and that's it and you just wait for it to go and we'll see here and it usually takes from 15 to 20 minutes depending on how large the size is and again like if you make your quality lower it'll be quicker but the quality won't be as good so I really recommend going on this go nuts quality because it's it'll give you the best quality but yeah as you can see 17 minutes um, I'm gonna go away and come back and when it's done I'll show you it works Alright, I'm back. When it's done, it'll come up with this conversion complete message and it'll make a little ding sound. You press OK. And then you go to your iTunes. And you go to your movies. You just click movies over there. And then there it is. As you can see, it's still copying it into iTunes. And once it's done, it will look like this. And if you want to, like, I like to just add a movie cover to it to make it look better. Um, the way you do that is you just right click, get info, artwork, and then you can just drag a pic off the web. So let's go here, let's go, uh, what do we just do? This is it. Just go to images, and there's a good one right there. And then we'll go see full size. And then you just click and drag it in there. And press OK. And you're done. You got this is it. I'll show you what it looks like. There it is. A little full screen. And that's that's it. That's how you convert your Windows base media to Mac. And then, uh, yeah, that's it. So if you have any questions on how to do it, um, you can do more than one at a time. So you can drag like six files in there and then click start and it'll do them. Uh, it'll do one at a time, but you don't have to delete and then put another one in there. You can just do all the ones you want to do at one time and just click start once. So that's how you convert your Windows-based uh, media to your iTunes and iPod. Um, if you have any questions, just uh, shoot me a message or a comment, and I'll get back to you. And this was Mr. How to Mac, and thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, comment, and rate.